Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be packing some orders. I want to just do a quick disclaimer. If anyone's watching this video who has purchased from my shop, please turn it off now if you want your package to be a surprise. I'm packing some mystery packages as well as some generic orders as well. So as I said, if you want it to be a surprise, turn the video off now. Um, anyone who doesn't actually know, I opened a shop last week. It's called My Stationery Collection. I feature a lot of independent artists as well as I've sourced products myself. If you do produce your own stationery and you want to get it out there, then I'm happy to email me across and I'll check it out. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I've got some mystery packages left, so I'm showing you a few of the um, what's going inside a few of them and how I'm packing them up. I had a really fun time packaging these orders because I can be really creative and put my own um, flair on it, I guess you can say. But today. I, I sort of just wanted to have a chat with you guys because I haven't sat down and just told you guys what I've been doing since 2020 started. As you all know who followed my Japan series, I went um, overseas on a holiday to Japan um, around December. So I was literally flying back um, on the new year. So I was sitting down watching a movie and a pop-up came on my screen while we were in the plane saying happy new year so i don't actually think i've had a sit down with you guys since i did a lot of my vlogs throughout the japan series so what's happened so far is i've come back to work i had a bit of a slump when i came back from holidays i don't know if any of you guys get into that real it was just real slow start of the year because going into like my role is a sales role i work in recruitment um if you guys don't already know so getting back into a sales role it took me a little while and i was in a little bit of a slump at the start of the year just trying to get back into it after having those three weeks off with Dan um, but yeah it's picking up now we're getting a lot more roles in and a lot more candidates are moving around so it's a lot more funner when there's lots of things happening for me I like to be really busy as you guys know because <laughs> I have a YouTube channel I've just opened up a shop and I work full-time around 40 hours a week so I like being busy and I'm most productive when I'm at my busiest I also have a few exciting changes um, coming up this year as well. Uh, Dan and I might be moving again and I can tell you more about that. I need to still figure out how it's all going to happen and when it's going to happen. But we've made the most living here in the north side of Sydney. I'm literally like 15 minutes away from work and before I was traveling up to an hour each day or over an hour sometimes if it was peak hour traffic because Sydney traffic is terrible. <laughs> so I really like where we're living at the moment in regards to location but it's just getting a little bit too small because there's two of us living in a one bedroom apartment here and there's a small balcony but I really just love... I'd love to have a backyard again. That's something that I would want to walk out in the morning and just ground myself. I know that sounds a bit funny, but I love just having my feet in the grass. It's just such a soothing and grounding feeling when you're living in a, uh, a big city because you're going from home to work to home to work. And even going to the gym, because sometimes I don't go for outside runs just because it's getting really hot. So going to the gym after work, I'm still just, I've got shoes on all day. And you just don't get a lot of nature living in the city. And I grew up on a farm. I love being out in nature. So those are the things that really, like being out in nature and just grounding myself or walking in nature or doing something a bit slower are the things that really kind of get me back into my body like sometimes I can be out of my body I feel like I'm out of my body when things are happening so fast and you're moving so fast through life especially when I'm I've like got a lot of things on on one month at work and I can just go from work to home to gym to work to home to gym and I can just fly through some months so I really like having those 
slower days um, where I can sort of just meditate a bit, um, take my shoes off and relax. And those are the things that I really love to do. I actually am trying to get a really good gym routine. So at the moment I've been at fitness first and there's a really good classes there so I'm liking the really high intense classes so things like body pump body attack and um, I went to a hit class today which was really fun so I got out of my fitness routine probably last year for around six months so getting fit and healthy and having that routine back has really helped my mental state as well especially as I said working long hours it's given me a lot of energy back um, and I'm starting to get into a routine, so I love jogging. I've always been a jogger, but now that it's getting hotter, as I said, I'm doing it at the gym so I can actually um, set those days aside. So I'm figuring out a really good routine now, so I'm getting more and more fit. And as I said, some of the classes I'm really loving, and it's giving me extra energy doing those classes at the end of the day and I'm coming home not feeling exhausted I'm coming home feeling like satisfied like I've got that energy back which is really good for me so yeah having those moments where I'm in nature more if we get a backyard that would be perfect I could have my tea in the morning and standing in the grass <laughs> um, I used to actually do this thing where um, when we used to have a backyard in our old place I would walk out stand in the grass with bare feet on have a cup of tea and then I'd close my eyes and look at the sun and I think that was like the best way for me to start my mornings I absolutely loved having my eyes closed and feeling this the warmth of the sun just beam down on my face um, so I think slowly as 2020 rolls on I really want to bring back all the things that give me energy and the things that make me happy that make me calm make me grounded and I might even be closer to my family this year which I'm really excited about um, because of the changes that are gonna happen and where we're gonna move so I'll take you guys along and tell you more about that. Um, but yeah, the, the thing at the moment that I'm focusing on is obviously the shop launch. So I hope you enjoyed watching me package some orders today. And I'll keep you guys posted if you want to know anything more um, about where I'm at or anything in regards to what I like to do to get healthier and mentally right in my body I don't know if that's the right way of saying it but basically just focusing in on grounding myself and making sure that I'm having those meditative practices and going to yoga on Tuesday a good yin yoga for me just absolutely relaxes my body and gets me ready for the week so yeah if, if you guys have any really great routines that you guys do let me know in the comments because i'd love to hear about them but thanks for watching this video today and i'll see you guys in the next one bye